How WAPTEC wasted two hours instead of hitting a simple button. How to learn from my stupidity. One of the bad things about being an expert in a subject is you forget to do the most basic and stupid thing, and also the operating system as well. I just tried to install a routine that is called, and I'm going to read the name verbatim, Disk Mod, which was supposed to do a very specific and very useful thing. It is a broken driver and should not be installed on any Windows machine unless you have a hundred people saying it works well. It, it was an interesting idea, but the idea was to make it to where when you run it, the computer would always mount thumb drives in such a way that they would have all features and abilities available so I could read ones that might have hidden partitions and that sort of thing. The trouble is it broke my computer. So from 10.55 p.m. till 1.06 p.m. or a.m. tonight, I wasn't able to access my computer in, because I forgot to do the most basic damn thing. On startup with most Windows machines, if you keep tapping the F8 key, fate, it, get, it should give you a list of options in there. One of them is restore last good configuration. It is not supposed to be the last thing you do after wasting two hours of your own time and cussing a blue streak. It's the first damn thing after you've installed anything that says you need to reboot. By the way, you don't need to reboot. Most software can be written very easily so that you do not have to restart it, including drivers that can dynamically load in RAM and then unload when they're not needed. This is an example of a program that's supposed to be able to do that by default, but the installer, never trust an installer, said you have to reboot because it ran install shield and install shield defaults to doing that, which means on startup you are vulnerable to it doing whatever which means it can also save a configuration in the computer that you can't undo if the machine fails to load. Again, when, not if this happens, on startup, tap the F8 key. If you have to unplug it and pull out a battery, God help you if you can't remove your battery, hit the F8 key until you get a menu. It's a long menu, and choose restore, uh, restart or start with last known good configuration. Last known good configuration means that it was a configuration or file set that was able to start and was working for more than 20 seconds after the screen came up where you could see your desktop. If it doesn't have the ability to do that, it never marks the configuration as usable or reliable. And I'd love it if it had multiple backups. In fact, most systems now default to having them. I wasted two hours of my time. I hope I didn't waste two hours of yours. If you've already gone through this, understand that it, everybody does this. And in my case, it says something slightly different in the menu. Just look for last known good configuration first step, not last. Yes, it will mung whatever work you were doing. It doesn't matter. Are you able to get into the computer? No. Then there's no freaking point in trying to salvage it. Start over. And yes, I ran an alternate operating system off a thumb drive that was able to do everything I needed. And I went ahead and looked around, and then I noticed two files got altered. I did change those files back. I did everything manually, but if I just ran that function, it would have been done in five minutes. Don't be like me. Be smart. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.